Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. What is popping up? How is your week? What is going on? So if it's your first time here, my name's Gary, aka The Plastic Boy. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's popping off sis? What's the form one one? Today's video is a bit different. I actually didn't know what to film for this week, but I actually had this idea for such a long time. Actually, one of my friends recommended me, recommended me this video, but I was like, okay, whatever. Today's video is all gonna be about like contouring slash bronzing and what are like my top products you guys can use to obviously get that snatch, get that glow, get that warmth. So if you wanna see what you can use to contour and snatch that face, Keep on watching. Please don't ask me why I've got a cardigan on during the summer of um, London. It's just quite cold in my house at the moment, so I'm just like, oh, it's a bit cold. But let me just get a little sexy for y'all. Imaginary hair flip, okay? I've already done this makeup. I actually filmed um, an Instagram video on it. It's just like a Bratz inspired tutorial. Remember when I did Sip and Send, I told you that Makeup Revolution are doing like a Bratz collab. I've actually had this makeup, um, this these products for a while, but I haven't really used them, but they're cute. You know, they do what they need to do. Let me turn on my fan because I'm getting a bit hot. But um, yeah, today's all about contouring. Um, I, I will say that people consider contouring very, very different for me. Contouring is when I just use something to snatch my cheekbones and shape it. Um, I think contouring and bronzing are very different. So bronzer is a bit more warm, a bit more, a bit more saturated. It, it's not as, it's, contour is normally quite like neutral slash gray. And that's what really makes the cheekbones really stand out. I do think on deeper skin tones, we can't really use those kind of gray tones because first of all, they're gonna make us look silly. They're gonna make us look casket ready and they don't really show up on our skin tones and flutter our skin tones in the best way. So you guys know, I always use like a cream bronzer, I always use bronzers, I always use powders, something quite warm. Sometimes neutral, it just kind of depends on what the vibe is, but normally I don't really tend to go for neutral kind of contour products or bronzers because they just don't look good on us slash me. Period. Okay, so I'm gonna put right off the bat, I do prefer creams, and you guys know I set up a powder, but you guys don't have to do this. I know a lot of you guys say when I do my reviews, please don't set it, because you guys don't really like to set things. A lot of these products do kind of set themselves anyway, but for me, I like to be quite extra, so I just love to um, set things anyway, because when you use a cream and you set up a powder on top, it's gonna look more intense, but if you guys want more of a natural thing, you can just do what you have to do. So, okay, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is by Made by Mitchell. If you guys know MMM Mitchell, he's come out with these things called blush, and these are called bronze blushes. So these are kind of like a liquid blusher bronzer. These are bank, and they sent me three shades. I think the other one's in the package somewhere, but these are the kind of shades I use. They're amazing on the eyes, amazing on the lips as a lip liner, amazing on the cheeks, they're just so nice. Um, I use this more as a contour, so this one's more, this one's a darker shade. It's so dark, let me swatch it for you. So this is what it looks like. It looks like this, and it's got a super kind of cute doe foot. I'm just gonna focus. Why is Why my camera being so good? So but anyway, let me swatch that for you. This is what it looks like. See how dark that is? So dark. So I probably wouldn't use it on the cheeks because they blend out easily, but we don't wanna pack a punch if we don't know how to deal with the box. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is definitely fruity. So this is called Shade and Laid. I love, love the shades. This one is like the perfect. When I say he understood the assignment with the tones, period. So um, I'm gonna put this one on for you. I'm gonna be taking these off and putting them on. So please RIP to my skin. So this is Shade and Laid. I'm gonna do one side for you. I have got blush on. If you're wondering what complexion products I have on, I have on the NARS Titty Moisturizer in the shade Granada Deep 2. That's the one I wear. Super nice. It is very radiant though. So if you are oily, I would kind of watch out, but I kind of like the, I like the finish. So I'm just gonna use my brush like this to blend this out. You can reapply more. They blend out so easily. So that's what it looks like. And that is Shade and Laid. I'm gonna apply a bit more for you just so you can see how it builds up. If you're around my skin tone, definitely get this shade. I think it's got three others. I can't remember what the other one's called. I think it might be called Shade and something else, but I think that's a really nice contour. You can also use it the bronzer as well. You see it's got a bit of warmth. And I'm gonna show you guys a tiny bit of this. I did just one because, oh child, this is so dark. See, super natural, super nice. They do semi-set. And um, I, what I like about these, they don't ruin any makeup on top. So I've had this makeup on my skin now for about three to four hours. And see, as you can see, it's not ruining or interfering with my skin. It just looks so good and so freaking bomb. So I'll definitely recommend these. Super easy to travel with and just, they're literally foolproof, guys. Period. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. I'm not sure how I'm gonna end up doing using all these products on my face about, cause that one's already, I, I kind of took it off my foundation, but it's still, Oh, anyway, so you guys are gonna be, ugh, you guys are gonna guess what it is. I've used this to death, and a lot of you guys know I love this. So this is the Uoma 
Omar highlighter and contour stick in double take three and this is called brown sugar they actually have this in so many shades i've actually got a backup they actually sent me another one but um it's somewhere around here i can't find it don't watch my nails i know they look ghetto the only thing about this is it's got a highlight side that looks like that i put it on my hand that's the highlight side it's nice but i just don't use it i'm not gonna lie so um i feel like if you aren't much of a highlight person, then you probably won't use this. So this is um, Uoma Beauty. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this one on my skin because you guys have seen me apply this so much times, but I'm gonna put some on my jaw actually because um, I forgot I could put some stuff there. And this is a really, first of all, this is beautiful. It's so creamy, so nice, affordable. Mm, it's not like drugstore, but it's not luxury prices. Uoma Beauty is now available in Boots. It's available in um, Cult Beauty, it's available in Nordstrom, it's available in a lot of departments. So it's available in Ulta as well. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, that is super natural. This, you'd have to set. The thing about the contour stick, it's very creamy, very emollient. I would definitely set this. Um, it's not a kind of thing you can put on and not set. And um, this is beautiful before foundation. It's just such a really nice product. Um, let me show you how much I've got left. Let me just show you the struggle. Look at <laughs> When I finish that product, you guys know I love this. I use it in every video. Okay, so another product I'd recommend, you guys are gonna guess it also, the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. Okay, so this is a tiny bit warmer than the average contour, but if you can set it for powder, but this is more bronzer, bronzer-ish. Again, it's gonna give you a cheap depth, but it's still contouring. I think contouring, I think as be being deeper skin tone, we can get away with using a lot more things to contour than with some, if someone's super light, because the lighter you are, the more mad it's gonna look, and the deeper you are, the more you can get away with. Personally, in my opinion, because when I used to work at MAC, contouring and deeper skin tones is so much easier than contouring on a light skin tone, because when people are on the light scale of the, scale of the spectrum, it's like, it can end up looking orangey or too gray or too mauve. It's just, uh, okay, we ain't trying to look more about her, okay? Yep, yep, yep. We're not trying to apply Spice Lip Liner from MAC, okay? So this is um, Danessa Myricks. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna apply this, but I will link it down below. Um, let me swatch it for you, but it is a banging contour. That's what it looks like there. It's so nice. It's just really, really, mm, I could put some on my forehead actually. I could put some on the forehead. This is running out. I'm literally on pan. Like this is so nice. So that's what it looks like on the forehead. As you can see, that's giving my forehead. This is a proper like warm tone. It's so nice. I remember when I spoke about this in my video age ago, you guys loved it. This is like one of the most perfect bronzers for a deeper skin tone. I do think that that's a deep, she needs to add at least two more shades because when I get darker, I, I, can, I can use this still, but I feel like if she just added a few more, Vanessa, you understood the assignment. Now we just need an extra two, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna get onto like what I call a contour bronzer. I've actually had this bronzer for so long, but I don't think I've spoken about it in a YouTube video because I was gonna talk about it. Then I was like, oh God, I just, I just felt like I was doing bronzers every single video. And like, you know, even my ass was bronzer. Like even you guys know I love a bronzer. Don't get it right. Don't, 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 don't get it twisted. I love me a bronzer. So this is by Dior. The packaging is cute. Um, Dior, I do love Dior, but if you watch my last tip and slay, I'm not actually sure what's going on with Dior. When the new highlighter, you are doing so well. I just, I just this is this is the darkest bronzer shade I think in 08, and actually it actually looks really warm on camera. But this bronzer is more neutral. Actually looks warm there. But to be fair, I'm more light on my on my arm there. Let me put it on my dark a bit. See, on my on my hand there, it's more neutral. But obviously that I'm. I'm so light on my arm there, that's what it's gonna look red. So um, let's apply some of this on. Um, I'm gonna use a Smith brush. I'm not gonna look, this has a lot of fallout. So I'm gonna put some there. It has a, it has a, a perfume scent as well, so. So that, that is it, super nice. Um, again, I don't tend to wear bronzers by themselves. I like to use a cream, but you could definitely wear this by itself if you like powder or if you're a bit more oilier. But um, as you can see, it's gone on the skin really nicely. It hasn't over matted the skin. Super, super pretty. This is a 08. Again, again, this is more contoury. Not saying all the products aren't contoury, but this is the most contoury of them all because it has such a neutral undertone, but it still looks natural. With this kind of dual bronzer, it doesn't have a lot of grey in it, so that's why it doesn't look mad on me, but it's still got that warmth. It's, it's just a, it's just the right balance of neutral and bronzer-ish, but this is nice. Packaging is super luxe. The only thing I don't like is this kind of cushiony bit because it just gets dirty and I don't really like stuff like that, but it looks nice anyway. And plus this bronzer is super chic, super thin, and it's just easy to throw in the bag. Plus it has a really nice mirror. Okay, so this one, when I first got it, I was like, 
Okay, I look really, really oily at the moment. I need to, I need to powder myself down. Give me a moment. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm powdered now. I feel like my face was looking a bit um, greasy. So yeah, this product really shocked me because when I first got it, I actually did a Zoom class with him and I was actually so excited. But when I tried it on, I felt like I wasn't really using it right. But I feel like this by Patrick Tarr. So this is called She's Chiseled and this is the Cream Contour Powder Bronzer Duo. So the first of all, this is to... Uh, this is too neutral so let me show you on my hand see how neutral it is it's, it's not even that dark like it's how the number is it actually is but can you see it blends into my arm oh, i'm just showing you right hold on so that's it there you can you can't really see because this is borderline too neutral so you can imagine on my face um but the powder is what's happening i can still use this i can still put some on my nose can you see how you don't really see it can you see you can see it slightly, but not really. But what I like about this product, this is really nice if you want like the most natural, nice contour. So even though the cream is barely there, you know what this powder is good for? A banging nose contour. Oh my God. So I'm going to use this. The cream's really nice as well. Don't let the cream discourage you. You can use the cream as well, but I'm just going to use the powder. This is probably my most favorite product for contouring a nose. Plus the cheeks. Again, this is more neutral. I'm gonna really build it up. Again, this is one of those ones where you really have to build it up, but I'm gonna put a shadow. Can you guys see it there? And then I'm gonna go around here. I feel like this might be sold out though, because last time I checked, it was sold out. I'm putting loads on because we are gonna snatch it with powder. And then I'm bringing it up to the brow like that. You guys see, you can really see it now. It's looking a bit darker. This powder is neutral, but Banging. Okay, so now we have that on. I'm gonna take some powder. I think this is banana bread. This might be a bit too light, but YOLO! <laughs> and then we're gonna cut the cheeks. One thing about Patrick Ty's compacts are a bit hard to open, but I really like his product. So I'm gonna snatch the nose here, like that. And then you wanna do the same on the other side. And then we're gonna leave it on the nose for a bit until it kind of just, you know, bakes. Okay, so that's what the nose contour looks like. Again, super natural, super nice. I think the camera, come back, my, I think the. the child i think basically my lights kind of like as you can see when i put that over you can kind of see what it really looks like again banging um i didn't show you on the cheeks actually i can't really mm, it's kind of hard to show you on the cheeks because i've got so much product but i'll show you a bit on the forehead what it kind of gives and it is a really nice neutral tone again very natural i would definitely recommend this this is so nice I'll definitely be repurchasing it again once it's done because I just think it's such a nice contour, but yeah. So the next one would have to be, I love this product. If you like more of a more creamier, not heavy, pigmented is the word, contour, <laughs> Vanessa Myricks baby. So she did the power bronzer, but this is actually called the contour bomb. This comes in so many shades. Well, I don't think loads, but the shade range is a bit more better than the power range, which her shade isn't bad. I'm just saying there's more shades. This is what it looks like. So this again, it looks more red, but I use this every, especially my Instagram videos a lot. I might use it on this side because you can read how different. So I'm going to put it like that. You can definitely see right away off the bat how banging this is. Like, look, see the sheen. So this is a bit more deeper, has a bit of a red on the top, but it's not too red, but I just love the finish of this. And you can take, you can, you can blend it out of a brush or a sponge. I much prefer a sponge. Apply this lightly because it is super pigmented and it does have a sheen to it. So it does dry down, but I would definitely set this anyway. But how beautiful is that? 10 out of 10. Even just wear it by itself. I love wearing this by itself when I'm on holiday because it kind of gives my skin the illusion that I'm wearing foundation, but really it's just a cream bronzer, so I don't really care if it kind of wears off. It wears really well, super beautiful. I'm trying to, I don't know if this is available on Cult Beauty, but I do know Adinessa is now available at Sephora, Cult Beauty. She's available everywhere, really. She, um, since I lasted a video on her, the stockists have just been coming for her. Like, she's been killing it. She's super nice, seems really sweet. I really, really, really like that again. Super, super natural and you just can't go wrong. Definitely see the space is a bit more bronze contoured. I really recommend this product. Again, you can put this in the eyes. It's just, for me, this is probably one of my favorite products I've ever I showed you just because I do use it 
a lot guys like I use it so much I love the packaging easy to pack slide it in there bush boss jobs done I got totally distracted because I was talking to Tasha on the phone and I was like, okay, hold on, Victoria's supposed to be a video. So the last one I'm going to choose is, you're probably wondering why Victoria Breckham is on there and I do like that. I think in terms, it's fairly quite new and I'm still using it. I do think that's really nice though, but I wanted to keep it simple, but the Victoria Breckham one is amazing and I do think that having stopped, I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to keep it simple, but the Victoria Breckham one is on there, but anyway. So this one is the Dubious Place Bronzed Bronzer. I love this so much. Black home brand, um, this is in deep dark. They do, I'm sure I've got another shade in this. Anyway, so for me, I feel like this is a perfect combination of contouring and bronzer. So I'll probably use that more to bronze and this more to contour because it's a bit more on the neutral side. So if you can see there, depo a bit more neutral with a bit of red. I feel like I have so much bronzer. So the Danessa Marks is there. I have so much product on my face. I'm gonna use that tone. See, this is contour under here i just feel like this is truly how you get snatched i feel like i'm all bronzed up my face. i don't have any other areas to put bronzer on my face i just feel like the bronzers did what they need to do guys what do you think so that's like Danessa Myrex. we have some emma mitchell somewhere i might have taken it off we have some um Juvia's plays patrick tar we have everything our face is definitely warmed up contoured and bronzed at the same time but obviously you don't have to put this much on so definitely make sure you're taking it with a steady hand because it's very much easy to take away no, hold on it's very much too what's, what's the saying it's very e it's very easy to take away you guys know what i mean it's easy to start with a slow hand to build up then take Girl, whatever. I don't give a fuck, period. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like these kind of videos because I like doing these kind of videos because I feel like you guys really, not, I'm not saying that my videos, you don't really can't wear anything, but I feel like with this, you can really see what kind of works. I feel like contouring and bronzing, there's so much products out there at the moment where it can become very overwhelming, but I just kind of, I kind of like, as you can see on my videos, I kind of like to use things that I love, like the almost thick, and the Danessa Myricks, I don't, I don't really tend, I do test a lot of new products out, but if they don't really bang for me, they don't really get recycled into my makeup bag, they kind of just, you know, one time short kind of thing. Um, again, I actually set my eye using the um, La Mercier Brighting Powder, it looks really good. But yeah, so if you have any more questions about contouring or bronzing, let me know. Um, and yeah, this is the look guys. Um, let me guys know if you have any of these products already and I shall see you on, there's no sip and stay this week, but there should be an extra video on Friday. There should be. So I'll see you on Friday for Friday's video. Mwah.